guess the confidence of Cody when you do something like that, the long-term plan? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not worried about his confidence. I mean, I know Cody very well. I mean, Cody told me. So. And uh, so I'm not, uh, I think Cody's fine. I'm not worried about uh, that. You know, I don't think he's worried about his confidence. I think uh, at the time, we wasn't playing as good as we needed to. You know, and I think he'll bounce back, we'll bounce back. That's, just, that's part of this league. That's the way it goes. What do you do now at that position? What do you mean what I do now? I mean, I'm behind Cody still the quarterback. I, I, I took Cody out of the game because I wanted a spark. Like I said, okay. young player playing, you know, a couple of days, and all of a sudden I think it was a little bit different and difficult, and so I wanted to try the veteran, and that's what I did. And then um, there's nothing more to it than that. I'm still going to find out more about Cody Kessler. Too. You, could you have found a lot of things no, out on the no, road in no. a tight game? I've found out on the road. I've been on the road with Cody. A lot of things. This is what I want to do. You guys can question the decision more than all you like. I felt good about the decision I made. Whether we lost the game, played better on offense, didn't, you're going to still ask the same question because I took him out of the game. That's what I wanted to do, so I'm not going to back off of that. You know, uh, We lost the game. We, we turned the ball over. And maybe those things would have happened. But you're saying in 10 days you're going back to coach? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I'm still going to play. I mean, he's a young player, and I'm going to put him back out there and let him go play again. And I don't think he's going to be disappointed or hurt or all of a sudden hurt his confidence because I took him out. As long as I explain to him why I'm taking him out, then he's fine. Hugh, did he, um, did he miss any chances to go deep? I know we had talked about Yeah, it wasn't them. about going deep. I just thought there were some things that normally that he does really well, just, just what happened early. And I think he'd be first to tell you. It is, you know, again, those things happen with young players. I mean, it's just part of it. I mean, it's a lot of pressure and stress playing Thursday night football in front of everybody. And to me, that's that's a tough spot to be in for the team that hadn't been playing as well. So I made a decision to put the veteran in there. That's what we did. He was, I think he said something like 2 of 15 on third down over his last two games. Was that one of the reasons where you just needed to get that going? Yeah, I wanted to get, you know, what, Mary Kay, I wanted to get it all going. You know, again, I, I thought, like I said, I thought Josh would give us a spark, you know, and, and you know, it, it didn't happen that way, you know, so I'm not going to, that's not Josh's fault, that's not, uh, you know, like I told you guys from day one, you blame all this, you know, what's going on in our football team on me at the end of the day. So uh, there's a lot of things I think on offense we can do a little bit better, be better at, and we just got to keep working on it. That's, that's what it is. Did you ever think about yanking Josh out of there at any point? No. No, I tell me, once I put the other guy in, I'm going to stay in. You know, I just think it's important. I don't, again, it's the same thing. I'm not going to go back and forth. If I had made a decision to take the other guy, I would put the other guy in and try to go from there. You know, and I know all these questions are coming, so uh, that's part of it. Well, um, Robert was thrown before the game. Mm -hmm. uh, is, is Robert getting close to coming back? Uh, I don't know how close. I know he's getting closer, you know, how, how fast that's going to be. You know, I don't know as we keep getting more reports about where he is. Obviously, he's strong, he's moving around, doing all those things. So we'll see you know, where he is as we um, get ready for next week. If he's healthy this season, and deemed healthy, if he's deemed healthy this season, would you like to see him again? Uh, you know, I think it's too early to say, because until I know exactly what it is, and if he can be healthy, uh, we'll make those uh, decisions. But again, Cody's going to be in quarterback next week. Um, again, this is no indication of what I think Josh McCallum is, he went here foul as a butt off. And, you know, sometimes things don't work good. They just don't. It just happens, and it did. So, uh, again, uh, that's part of it. You ready? Go. Can you put your finger on what's happening in the second half? No. I wish I could. I mean, I've tried every different kind of speech to no speech to whatever you can think of. I mean, I, I can't put my finger on it, you know, but obviously it's, uh, it's a problem, you know, and so uh, we got to fix it. How do you end up with 12 guys on the field on defense in the first play of the game? Yeah, I wish I knew that too. So, no, it didn't. Uh, obviously, we uh, there was a miscommunication about what their personnel was, and I think they were yelling to try to get the guy off, and he didn't hear. Him, you know, I think he was so wired and dialed in to what he thought the personnel was, the particular player that was out there, that he didn't hear everybody trying to get him off. So, yeah, it was disappointing. He would, it kind of seems rather obvious, but I just want to hear your your thought on it <laughs> is is the 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 
the you know quest for that spark is that motivated by the record and you know is it kind of desperate well, times call for desperate measures? No, I don't think it's desperate time calls for desperate measures, but I think it's any situation if you feel like something's not going the way you want it to, you know, you got to change it. You got to change it up every now and then, and that's what I decided to do. I mean, I think um, um, obviously, you know, scoring the touchdown, being up seven to six, was good. I like to have been up twenty to six. You know, I thought there were some plays that we left out there on the field. You know, so uh, again, I wasn't gonna sit there and keep watching the plays be missed. I think you gotta try something different. And being in the situation we are, I, why not try something different? You know, I just think that's that's the best way to go about it. And it's, if it works, we'll be excited by it. If it doesn't, then you guys will keep asking me all these questions. So I do get that, and I respect that. Do you, you, do you understand the idea that saying you're not gonna play musical chairs at quarterback and then doing this that wasn't sounds good. contrary? Yeah, well, you can take it like that, but that's a musical that's trying to give my my our team the best chance that I thought to win. But there's it, it, why well, I get it. I mean, you you can say that all you want. I didn't think we were playing good enough at that position at that time. So I wanted to do something different. If I leave them in there, we're not still playing good. Then that's not good enough either. I'm gonna try something, and I will continue to try things. But most both teams, if you have a starting quarterback, he's your starting quarterback. You don't. I never said that Cody was a starting quarterback for the rest of the year. That's what you just said. I never made that statement. I said I must see Cody for the rest of the season as much as I deem necessary. That's my choice. And I decided to take him out and I put Josh in. So in the discussion of that. Anything else? Josh McCown, um, this almost seems uncharacteristic of him. You know, he's got six interceptions and very limited amount of play this season. Mm -hmm. Are you somewhat surprised that he's not playing better? Um, yeah. I mean, but like, again, I think Josh is Oh, again, put in a tough spot too. You know, I think it's a tough spot for all these guys, for Cody, for Josh, for all of them. Uh, and I think they're battling as hard as they can. So again, the finger points at me, I don't think it points at them. You know, these are my choices, my decisions, uh, how we go about doing things on offense. We've got to get better, just as simple. Good, thank you. Thank you.